What's good? It's JBB back with another Bears video reacting to the week four game. The Chicago Bears beat the L.A. Rams 24 to 18. And finally, finally, DeAndre Swift showed up and he actually showed out. 90 plus rushing, 70 plus receiving. He was the leading receiver in the game, along with the leading rusher in the game. And this was needed for a young quarterback. The running game, the running back is his best friend. So it was nice to see DeAndre Swift, Roshan Johnson, and yes, this Bears offensive line especially considering that they lost their best offensive lineman and Tevin Jenkins to a rib injury. He did not come back. Matt Pryor took his spot and this offensive line. They did their thing. And now I'm not saying that this offensive line is, is working. Everything click. They're going to be the best offensive line. You know, we've ever seen because that's far from the damn truth. This offensive line still ain't no good. <laughs> Let's keep it real. This offensive line still isn't, you know, still isn't good, but they had a good game. They had their best game of the season yesterday at Soldier Field. DeAndre Swift nearly ran for six yards a clip, and this is coming off the first three weeks where he was running, well, he was at like two yards per rush. So it was actually good to see DeAndre Swift in this running game percolate a bit because, you know, as I said in the offseason when it happened, I wasn't the biggest fan of the move. I thought the Bears could have allocated that money to the offensive line. Um, but DeAndre Swift, he played well. You can't, you can't take that away from him. And Roshan Johnson, you know, he had a solid game. He scored a touchdown as well. DeAndre and Roshan both had touchdowns in this game. No rushes for Khalil Herbert. So maybe the writing on the wall, maybe he's going to be moved at some point. You know, you're not going to get much for Khalil Herbert, but the one-two punch, DeAndre Swift, Roshan Johnson, that's probably all you need. Shane Waldron and company needs to keep it simple. Run the ball in short passes, quick passes, and eventually, as those things continue to progress Hopefully, your rookie quarterback will get more comfortable. He'll get more comfortable with his receivers. He'll get more comfortable within the offense. And potentially, we'll see him continue to flourish. Caleb didn't have a sexy stat line yesterday, but he progressed. We've seen it so far this season. Week one, ass. Week two, a little bit better, but still ass. Last week against the Colts, he threw for a lot of yards, but he still threw two picks. One of them was really bad. But again, we saw some progression. He threw his first two touchdown passes of his career. This week, he only had the one touchdown pass at the end to DJ Moore. And the best thing about Caleb Williams' stat line is that he did not turn the ball over. Personally, I don't think Shane Waldron is anything to ride home about. I feel the same way about Matt Eberflus. I've always, I always have. But if you're Shane Waldron, keep it simple. Yes, he was the first overall pick. He has a lot of talent. But you need to keep it simple. And you need to cater to your quarterback. Short passes, screens, slants. No 25-step dropbacks. Just keep it simple. And if Caleb Williams is a good quarterback, if he's going to be a top tier quarterback in this league, he will continue to progress. And the more he progresses, the more the playbook can actually open up. It also helps when you have a really good defense. And I know Matthew Stafford didn't have Cooper Cup or Puka Nakua, you know, as top two receivers, but the Rams did move the ball down the field. Kyron Williams had that touchdown late in the game. You know, he's their best offensive weapon, especially with their top two receivers out. But they were moving the ball down the field, but the defense did what they needed to do. They bend it, but they didn't break. 
They kept the Rams to field goals, and eventually they got that strip sack from Montez Sweat. They had a couple of other sacks in the game. Javon Dexter had another sack. Jaquan Briska had a sack, and the game ended interception. Regardless of who was available or not, the Bears defense did what they needed to do, and they handled business. This is a top 10 defense in the National Football League. But the Bears defense had another good game, and an extension of the defense is the punter. And the rookie, Tory Taylor, he had his best game so far in his young NFL career. It may not have been the best thing to do with a fourth-round pick, but this is why you draft a punter in the fourth round. This is what you expected him to do. This is what you want him to do. Pin the offense back inside the 20 and let your defense cook. That's what you want to do. Pin their offense deep in their own territory, on the road with a hostile crowd, loud as hell on their necks. With this opportunistic defense, salivating. Tory Taylor did a great job of that yesterday pinning the Rams back in their own territory, and the defense did the rest. It wasn't the sexiest game in the world, but the Bears did what they needed to do to get the dub. Honestly, it was the best collective effort that this Bears team has had so far this season. And now the goal is to continue to build this shit, you know, keep this momentum going Next week, you at home against the Carolina Panthers and the NFL is the NFL. There's going to be teams that lose to teams and you think, how the hell did they lose to them? How the hell did this team beat that team? And I'm not saying it like the Chicago Bears are world beaters because they are not. They're two and two. They're definitely flawed. But this is a game at home against the Carolina Panthers that you should handle. You should handle that business. But the Bears need to take it one week at a time. They got a home game, home field advantage against the Carolina Panthers next week, and we'll see how it goes. But, hey, I'm out. If you like the video, like the video, share the video, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take it easy. God bless. Peace.